So you have an article all ready to go and you are ready to publish on LinkedIn. So if you're on your profile page, as you can see, we're on mine here, click home. And you see the box here and it does give you the chance to write an article this is the new way to access it the previous way you could add a widget you could um, within your widget you could access it the new one you have to access it right here from where you would make regular updates and one quick thing to note if you click on it that option goes away you click off it comes right back so press write an article and with with a lot of images, I like to use the larger one. For this one, I am going to use the smaller. And this was the previous option that they offered on LinkedIn, the smaller image here. So put in the image, put in your headline. Put in the base of your article. I have it all set up in a Word document. Uh, and one of the things you'll always want to keep in mind is the formatting especially on linkedin a lot of times it will change things even after you publish it it will change bullet points into one two three or a lot of times it will be one 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 when you have several points um, so i'm going to quickly look over the format i'm going to add back in my pictures because they do not copy over it's not like medium if you're familiar publishing on medium it usually keeps your images linkedin does not when you copy over so I'm add this picture the image to my footer here. Also, if you are publishing on LinkedIn, I would always recommend. The footer image is uploading. As you can see, there's another gap. I'll have to erase that gap. Go back up here where I had another image I wanted to off. Where I had another image I wanted to put in. The thing you want to watch out for is backspacing. Um, when you think there's a space, and then the image will go away. All right, so I got my images in there. I do want to change these bullet points. These did not copy over well either. Looks much better. One other thing to keep in mind with their newer update is that they did remove the tag option. It was kind of outdated the tags they had. You couldn't insert your own tags. You had to choose from a list, and the list was very bad. But overall, I do really like LinkedIn's publishing platform. It's a great way to add extra depth to your profile, give people that are visiting you a little bit more. All right, we're gonna go ahead and press publish. It's gonna ask you um, if you're sure you wanna publish, and also you can add a note um, to your update. I would always recommend doing this. It helps it stand out a little bit. And it shows this is how your article will appear on the LinkedIn feed. Go ahead, click publish. And it's published you can always add afterwards they give you sharing options here uh, and then we'll quickly just look at how you do edit that if you want to um, how you can access the post so going back here i'm going to go to my profile some people have been a little bit confused with this so click on your articles here not all the activity because that includes other things you've shared in light but click on your articles and then articles, posts, all activity. If you're on articles, click on this. And then edit article in the bottom right-hand corner. And that's how you publish on LinkedIn under the new 4.0.